Good morning everybody, Tracy here from Unique Clip Creative. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to colour in one of these cute little koalas. They're super adorable from our August Jack and Colour release. I have got my grey brown zig marker first, which is number 94. Probably going to use a little bit of pale pink, which is 28, to do his little cheeks. And I am literally just going to put some colour down on... This is just literally a piece of scrap plastic. Just water it down. And I'm just going to start by... Very lightly just colouring him in first with my zits. Just a really light wash to start with everywhere I want my grey. Because we have a little koala the grey. We have a koala on our property here where we live. Super cute. Mr. Cuddly is what Pearl calls him. And surprisingly, I did not know this about koalas, he spends a lot of time in our pine trees. Didn't know that. I thought they were all about the eucalyptus. He does come to our eucalyptus and eat them, but he spends a lot of time in our pines. All right, I'm just going to dry this. Pearly on this door, darling. And that's what happens when you make a video with a three-year-old. Okay, next layer. We're not going to pick up as much water with this one because I want to start popping in my shadows. I'm going to work out where my light source is coming from and my light source I think is going to kind of come from here. So I'm going to drop all of my shadows mainly on this side of him. So a little bit in here. Just going to drag that out. Like that. I'm going to pick up a tune a little bit more of the darker. And I'm going to come in down here. Again, I'm just going to drag that out. And then we're going to need a wee bit more. Over here on this side of his arm. I'm going to drag that out. And just a teeny tiny bit up in there. Just cheating, drawing it straight on him. But mainly my darkest bit of my shadow should be over here because my light source is up there. Okay. We are just going to blend him out a little bit so he's not so wishy-washy up the top. We're going to do his legs now. Hang on, Pearly. Yes, that is Pearly in the background you hear. And this is what happens when you have a three-year-old. They cool out when you make videos. And apparently there is a train next door that I need to go have a ride on in a minute. Okay, we're just going to do some shadow over here on his ears. And then we're going to do some shadow here. Because that's where my light source is. I don't have a door on my craft room yet. So there is no locking out the kids, the husband, everybody. We are all sharing this space. Alright, I'm just going to dry him off a little wee bit. Not too much. Drying him off. <coughs> Grabbing my uh, pink. It's called 028 Pale Pink. Oh, it's very pale, but that's cool. That's what we like. You guys can hardly see it. I'm going to clean my brush. Good. And I'm going to pick up some of that pale pink. And I'm just going to give him some teeny tiny rosy cheeks. I'm just going to draw a little bit more on there. Some teeny tiny rosy cheeks. I'm just going to dry that and then maybe dry some of that colour back. That is cute. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm just going to get a really, 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 really light grey wash now. And just do his ears insides and his white bits. And then I think I'm done. So there he is. There's Cuddles the Koala done with the zig brush markers. And I'm going to make him into a card so I'll show you what that comes out like later. 
So I just want to show you how I finished off my little card with my little koala here. There he is, little cuddles. Um, so I used this die from the August stamp release, which is really cute. And that cuts out this outside one here. Also pops out this shape as well, but we didn't use that shape. I'm going to put that down there so you can see it. Same technique. I painted up the watercolour flowers on the background and layered them around. So you can see they're all just layered under there. Focus. There we go. And this little background here, that is just the zig markers, just with the plastic bag technique, with a little bit of the gold leaf left over from our July Creative Kit Club. A uh, little saying, this stamp is on one of the stamp sets, and this one here, I think that was left over from the August Creative Kit Club. There's a sheet of cutter parts, and I've used that one there. So that is my little end product that I've made with this stamp. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned something with the zig markers. Till next time, bye.